Okay. All right. This is this is um, this is where me and Zay make a tier list, and we both think each other is extremely cap. Uh, but it should be entertaining, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna try to make a tier list that is a middle ground between b what we both agree on. All right. Zay is in control though, so ultimately he has the final call, which we'll <laughs> see how that goes. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay. He'll probably think some of my reasonings cap too, though, to be honest. All right, sixteen. I think sixteen is probably with the with the tiers that you have i think he's a mm, yeah a? a or b plus because i think his assist alone is one of the best supporting assists in the game and then i think on his own he's he's pretty solid he's definitely not incredible but he's solid all i gotta say heavy yeah i'd say b plus is fine uh, this one is all up to you because I completely despise this character and everybody who plays this character. I think that he's probably either S or A+. Plus. I think that he builds meter like a... Dude, he probably builds me. I'm trying to think. Is there any character besides Baby that builds meter as well as he does? Maybe Jiren um, or Blue Jiga? Yamcha does. Yamcha builds meter like crazy. <clears throat> well, I would say he's, he's... a big multi-hit character. He's among the best meter builders. He has a broken assist. He does fine on his own. I think I think he's probably A+. Plus. That's where I'd put him. Okay. 18? 18. I don't know. My, my takes on 18, I don't mm -hmm. know. I'm not an 18 player, so For all sure. I know is she has Oki, and Oki mm -hmm. is like makes me just want to uninstall every single time. So. Yeah, I mean, she has the best level 3 situation in the entire game cuz like most they can they can take away Majin 21's Oki but she gets to keep hers. Yeah, but I mean Majin 21 is such a better character other than the Oki. So I think it's Bro, we're going to talk about the loops that she has, the bullshit ones. Mhm. Mm I think 18 is A+ plus as well, it may be S somewhere in there. Really? I think she's better than uh, I I don't know. These characters are both they're close, I think in my opinion. Okay. I don't know. Majin, Majin 21. 21 A. S, you think? Really? Maybe A plus, in Easy. my opinion. Why? What's your reasoning? Like, cause it, I mean, without steals, I'd put her A plus, right? right? But when she has the right steals, she can she can OTG, she can do a lot of crazy things that I've seen. Okay. And it's you... mommy. So like who like <laughs> come on man. She gets like... a tear bump just for being mommy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's crazy. Um I think she's lower, but I'll I'll let it slide. In my opinion, I think she's a plus at best. That's just my opinion. Really? I think so. Why I think is that? so. My reasoning is that the power level in this game right now is just so outrageously high, and I think that mm -hmm. she's good, but I don't think she has anything that's just absolute garbage. And there's plenty of characters right now who have just like they're just so stupidly broken. And I feel like she's solid, but I don't think she's broken. I think she's A+. plus. So so basically you're saying, like, she's good, just not on the scale as everybody else. Right, right. Like, there's so many characters right now that are just, like, dummy broken. And I think she's, like, right below them, you know? Okay. <clears throat> That's my opinion. That's how I feel about, about 18, that. too. I think that 18's Oki is what's dumb about her. but And Barrier is dumb, too, but, like... She's really, really stubby. She has to really rely on movement. Like, I think that she's balanced to some capacity. And I feel like the A-plus tier is kind of for characters that I think have stuff that's really good about them. But, like, they're not, like, literally stupid broken, you know? Yeah. That's my opinion of that. And feel free to, you know, th you know put your input and, like, disagree with me. But that's what I think. That's where I think she goes. I get you. Bardock. I think he's pretty bad. I think he's B at best, C at worst. Man, I, I think... live in. I used to live in the day and age when Bardock was top tier with Cell. Valid, but he is. Like, so anybody much who worse played now. Bardock, Cell, and like Goku Black, you'd run every single time. So the thing with this character, so let me go over my baseline here. So the my reasoning for putting characters in top tier, there's a few things that I think that they need to have. They they need to have either it's perfect attack. Right, something absolutely like stupidly broken about them that's unique to them like EX perfect attack is a perfect example of that. They need to have some sort of special move that allows you to do special tag DR. 
They need, and this is, I'm not saying they need to have all of these things, but they need to have at least a few of them. They need to have some sort of 50-50 setup, preferably one that either you can jail into or is mid-screen. And then they, or yeah. they have like a, some sort of like level three situation that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I think those are the big ones for me that I think are, make a character top tier. And Bardock ha, not only doesn't have multiple of those, he has none of those. So I, in my head, I'm just like, you have this stubby character. Sure, he has cool combos, but like, does that really make a character good? I don't think so. Auto combo. I mean, yeah, it's dumb, but, like, there's characters that do that and more, and they do it better than him. So, like, I think this character's not very good. I think he's in towards the bottom of the pack in this patch, in my opinion. Mm. What do you think? So where would you put him at? Me personally, I'd put him, like, B or B+. Plus. I think he's way worse than 16. I would say B or C+, plus is my opinion, but... Really? Your call, your call. Sure, I'll go to your call, C+. Plus. <laughs> Beers. S. S I plus. Think. S plus? He's bottom of S plus, top of S. That's what I think. Somewhere in there. Okay. And my reasoning, do we need to go over him? Really? Like, do we? <laughs> really? Like, bro, yeah, he has solo plus. Let's give plus. a character the one of the most damaging level threes that instantly recovers. And it teleports to you. Oh, I forget about that too. Like, brother in Christ. And it's air okay now? Like, why? What? What? Yeah, and it's air okay. You can do it in the air and teleport to them. Is it really? Yes. Hold on, no, no, no. Let me see this. Yeah, go ahead and stream it too so that I can include it in the video. Because some people are going to be like, nah, you don't know what you're talking about. They need to see this. Uh, which one is it, man? Special moves. Judgment. Air okay. You see that? Right Where? under the name, right under the name. It says 214L plus oh, M arrow. No. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, what? Do you still have your game open? Yeah. Show it. Hold on, I gotta put beers on the team. Switch over so on the stream too, so I can see. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, let's say Super Saiyan Goku whiffs a freaking beam. Uh, he can just, you know, teleport behind them. That's the thing, too, is they he doesn't even teleport to them. He teleports behind them. So you can whiff punish from anywhere on screen with this level 3 that does, like, 50% non-limit oh break spark. Like, brother in Christ, why does cording, he have that? So, time to just keyboard it out, man. Yeah, this character is whack. <laughs> Extremely whack. Alright. Um. Are you trying to have him do something? Yeah. Ha I just. No, no. Tweaking. Um. I don't know where it's at, bro. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Make him uh, call Just, me your mama. Do you know how? Do you have record bound to anything? No, nah, I'm on keyboard, man. I don't uh, know none of this shit. Uh, okay. Well, regardless, just do it. Just jump and do it. Oh my god. Yeah. Now put put him full screen away from you and do it. That's it. <laughs> bro. Bruh. Yeah. Um, now go back to that tier list and put him exactly where you think he should go. Yeah. Right where he is, I think is fair. <laughs> <coughs> Excellent work. Broly. Excellent go. work. Uh, uh, do you, do you yeah, I agree. My... No okay. need to no need to go over it. Valid. Okay. Um, this character is an interesting one. Because I think he got crazy buffed. But I do personally still think that I think at our level, this character is like freaking S tier, but I think like in the grand scheme of things, he still he has a lot of problems dealing with the top tiers, and so I personally think he's like a A or A plus. 
Like, he doesn't have any of the things that I went over, which that's just my opinion, of course. But, like, Mm -hmm. he doesn't have any of those things. And also, too, lots of the top tiers, like Blue Vegeta, who I think is top tier because of his freaking command grab, and he jails into 50-50s. Like, Broly can't really deal with characters like that. Lab Coat, like, he he has such a bad matchup versus her. And freaking, like, who else? Like, I guess he does pretty well in the baby matchup, but I don't know. I think he's, like, A+. plus. That's where I think he is. Everything I see, and like, from all the stuff I see about DB, or DBZ Broly, I'd uh-huh. say S tier, but I, I just get hit with a lot of bull, so. I mean, he's definitely frustrating to fight against. I'm not going to cap, but. Like, every S, or every, honestly, either Broly, both of them, anytime I fight them, bro, I get hoed every time. <laughs> Um, Ginyu, I think, is an S tier character. This character this has character. freaking everything now, dude. He has freaking the best Oki setup in the entire game with Gouldo Raccoon. He has some of the highest damage, some of the highest meter gain in the whole game. Like, Ginyu B is hard he to He literally use, has but... everything. Yeah, he. Bro. This He's like Lab Coat without busted buttons. Yeah. yeah like, she has everything. He, he He's just him. He doesn't have solo knockdown. He has a couple weaknesses, but I think with all the strengths he has, I think S plus is too high, but I think S is proper. Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah, I would say S plus Perfect for sure. attack. He's perfect to attack the character. You explode or you get 50 50 Like, think about this, say. Like, you know that 50-50 I showed you with perfect attack? Yeah. What are you supposed to do about that? Get hit by it and die? You know what I mean? Like, you just have to take that mix-up. Like... It's you know what you do? Bonkers. Not, like, not, what? What do you do? You don't. Correct. Like, literally just don't. <laughs> yeah. So, I think he's, t- he's probably top five right now, I would say. That move alone. I'd say top three. Yeah, I don't blame you. All right. Cooler, I love this character. Like, I, I love playing him, but I-, I don't see too much of him. That's how I feel, too. B plus to A plus, somewhere in there. I think A. I'll give him A. I think he's around 16, but the argument could be made for him to be higher. Yeah, I would say that's yeah. probably a good spot. Oh, oh, the best character in the game. I honestly think this character is freaking whack. I think this character is probably A to A+. Plus. I think I love this character. It's impossible to get in on this character, and he has mix now. He has freaking... Like, Gropus has basically made this character... Like, people thought this character sucked, and then Gropus was like, nah, hold my drink. Get, I'm going to show you how whack this character is. And he is so good. I think he's great. I think he's... His assists are hard to use, but they're good. I think he's good. At least B is good. B and C are both great assists. Um, A's still kind of whack. I think he's A or A+. plus. Either one. I could agree with. I'd say A plus just because Frieza is my spirit animal. Oh. Um, I think Vegeta <laughs> Blue is still A plus or S. I don't think he's S plus, but I think he's still a very good character. He does amazing damage, has incredible pressure and frame data, amazing staggers. He has a command grab. He has ginormous buttons. He he really is only a point character though. Like he struggles in neutral when he doesn't have assists behind him. I think yeah, I think that's a fair spot. I think A I think S plus is too high and I think A plus is the lowest I'd put him. I think he's around there, yeah. Alright, let's talk adult yeah. Gohan. Uh all I have to say, level seven Gohan is inconsistent. Facts you're spitting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the um, wisest words I've ever heard about Gohan. For for people who aren't part of our community and don't know. That's a community joke. We got somebody in our community. I'm looking at you, Atlas, who is uh, the hardest adult Gohan down player I've met in my entire life. Um, There's nothing maybe... to downplay about Gohan. No, he is literally a professional cap artist. So, uh, yeah, I think this character overall, I think level seven adult Gohan is probably top two in the game, and I think that probably the best. Um but I think that overall as a character, he's S. Just because yeah. you have to get him there. And if you don't, 
then he's kind of like an A tier character until you level him up. Maybe B plus. I don't know. Probably A. I don't know. It's hard. What do you think? Somebody, do you play him? Somebody told me that a Dogon Gohan was D tier because all he does is consume meter. My brother in Christ. That's like saying <laughs> that's like saying Zamasu or like any level three character is D tier because all they do is use your meter. Like, bruh. <laughs> Anyways, what do you you think he's S? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hundred <clears throat> percent. Alright. Team Gohan. Mr. I Auto think, Combo. I think this character's S as well. Now that they gave him freaking fifty fifties with EX Lariat. And he just does so much damage. His level one does so much damage. He has a level, level five. five. Right. He has mid screen tag with kicks. I think Have you seen his loops? Yeah. He loops off of two S. Yeah, he builds so much it's, meter. It's, like it's two S IED uh medium <laughs> two S IED medium two uh two S IED. Yeah, Bro, think... that is so it's so broken, but you explode. Yeah, I think this character's S. I don't think he's a be like among the best in the game, but he's definitely very high. Um, Goku Black is a character that's interesting because for the longest time, he's been so bad. But now that they found his level three mix after this new patch, you know about his level three mix, right? Yeah. I think that that puts him around Frieza. I think he's probably A or A+. Plus because I don't like, care what anybody says. I've been a stand for this character for the longest. Everybody said, oh, Goku Black sucks. Goku Black sucks. Man, I was sitting here, Goku Black is... Uh, never mind, I don't even want to say that because... No. <laughs> I mean, he's got amazing neutral. He's He builds pretty good meter. Um, he's got a beam assist, which, you know, not that that's like best in the game, but it's very good this patch. With the hit stun they gave beam assists, and then he made his auto combo and anti air. Auto combo is an anti air, true, and he now has a level three, uh, like three way mix up. I think that this character is pretty solid now. I think he's A or A plus. What do you think? I'd say A. <coughs> oh, All right, GT. My favorite character. I think he's. I stand a for this character till the day I die. What's your opinion on this character? Um. I, I'd, me personally, I'd put him A plus, maybe A plus S minus, like somewhere in between. I was going to say but. S, so that's what I, I, my thing with him is his invincible move is just so outrageously dumb, but it's kind of weird because like, I feel like it's there's going to be time play. frame for it. Yeah, I feel like because yeah. you can you can do it in the startup. You can get hit, but like maybe a split <coughs> second after the startup, right. you're invincible. Is it frame four? And involved? it's like that for every single one of them. Hold on, let me see. Um, I think it is. Let's see. I think it's called. It's coming out. Here we go. It's a let frame eleven. Okay. And I mean, you're not really doing it on top of people anyway. You're mostly doing this like in neutral. Like I, yeah. I would say S is where I think he is. I don't think he has close, great but... mobility. Yeah, he has amazing um, mobility. He's freaking so hard to hit because not yes, only is he hard. tiny, but he also is all over the screen at all times. He has like Loki mix with his pogo stuff. I think he's S personally. He has amazing assists. Both assists are great. Um, All of his assists are good. Yeah. His, his C assist is broken, too. Uh, it's kind of like uh, Blue Goku's teleport. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, Blue Goku. Blue Goku's hard because I think I think he's hard character, but I think he's very good. I could, I would say A plus or S. Like, he has everything, but he's hard. Yeah. That's the problem. He's hard. That's pretty much his weakness. <clears throat> I think he's S. Mm, it's hard. What, what do you think? I think he's I'd top say, of A+. Plus if I'd he's say not high S. A+. Plus. No. Yeah. Yeah. Solely because Super he's hard, shame. and everybody in S+, plus and S is freaking brain dead. No. uh <clears throat> Super Saiyan Goku. I think he's... I don't know. A+, plus or B+, plus, or A, A or B+, plus is what I think. Yeah, I was going to say, I put him B+. Plus. I think the the problem with this character is he just like really doesn't have mix. I'd say he he's very limited. Like yeah. of course he can do crazy things, but he has to open up a certain way. 
Right, like, it's hard to open up with him, which, like, might not sound like that bad of a weakness, but, like, in this game where everyone has freaking 50-50s, like, that's not a great thing when you don't have a way to open <coughs> open people up reliably, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I think this is a good spot for him. He has a beam assist. He does mad damage. And I feel like saying a character's good because they do good damage is not a great reason unless they're in a league of their yeah. own, and he kind of is. You know, he's up there with the, like, characters that do, like, the highest damage in the game, so. Yeah. UI, he's mad annoying, but I feel like he honestly doesn't have a lot going for him. I think He's always been that way, though. He doesn't have that many... I, I, cool or high damage combo routes. He also doesn't like his mix is like kind of fake. It's like I feel like he doesn't have like real fifty fifties. He doesn't have a good level three situation. He he does have tag, but you have to. Sp I don't know. I think he's like B plus to A. Just because of five L, I'll give him A. Five L and two H. Like, I can 2-H and recover and still be able to block. Yeah. Like. I don't know. UI Goku's like a hard, like. He, he He's like his own case, like, as it is. Yeah. Um, what about uh, base? Uh, I don't know. It's a character I hate fighting, but whenever I play him, I just can't play him. I mean, I think he's another great example of a character whose mix is kind of fake. But, like, Spirit Bomb off of everything is kind of OD. Not going to lie. I don't think he's All right. great. I have a W take. Okay. His best mix is Raw Kaioken. <laughs> yes, but I feel like it's weird, right? Because it's a huge knowledge check. But it really is hard to, like, know everything. Like, I don't know if you knew this, but back in the day, Lord Knight, I believe it was, made this, like, huge guide for how to deal with Rock Kaioken. But, like, really? It's, yeah. But it's freaking so long. Like, um, I think top players will memorize it, but, like, I don't know. It's hard to say. I think this character is, like, probably B plus to A. Because, like, he doesn't really... He can open you up, kind of, but again, I think it's like with UI where it's like he doesn't. The thing that's he better about him much. is Spirit Bomb. That's about it. Yeah, especially since they made it faster, too. Yeah. Have you um, seen the TOD? Yes. Have you seen the freaking solo one where he does Kamehameha into Spirit Bomb? Yeah. Yeah. It's... The Kyle Ken? Yeah, that's whack. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Uh, uh. Gotenks, I think, is an S tier character. He. <clears throat> Builds so much bar. He freaking has unbelievable special tag capability. Ghost Loki <clears throat> is worse than it once was, but is still amazing. Um, I think he's S, personally. Uh, this is a hate crime to send us in. C is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I think that character is OD. His B assist is really good. Like that's the one that is uh, that Senazen uses. I played a few sets with him like three days punches? ago. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. He, his they pressure fixed it, is right? insane. Because it was bugged last yeah. patch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what do you What do you think about hit? Hmm. For for hit, in my opinion, it depends on the situation. Like, say there's. <laughs> It's round start, and there's you. You have three characters. I'd give him a. I don't know. I. I'm. Not, I. I used to play hit, but then I dropped him after Blue Vegito came out. So that was a long time ago. Oh. I'll give you my take, and you tell me what you think. So, <coughs> I think this character is basically only a mid, because he needs a lot of meter, um, and he doesn't build any. But <coughs> he uses it really effectively. He has freaking. He is so hard to block, and he has very good like anti zoning with his like punches and stuff. And he has one of the best assists in the game because freaking hit A is freaking invincible. Um, I think this character is personally high A plus. The kick that he does the um, 
236 into heavy. Yeah. That I I hate that. Yeah, dude. It's because like it, it goes through everything. It hits you even if you're in the air. Yes. Yeah. Me personally, just because I get hoed by that constantly, I'd give him A plus. Like. Yeah, that's where I think right he is there. for sure. Janemba, honestly, I think this character's low key still S tier, because like, sure he got the meter nerf, but like, I just think you put him like I think he's still like does exactly what he used to he's just slightly worse at it he still has an insane command grab he still has left right mix with the 50 50 with the level three he still has amazing solo routes for only half a bar like the worst the thing with this character that got nerfed is that you just see the level three mix up slightly less often that's it yeah that's basically the only thing that changed about this character and i think as long as you play a character on point that builds a ton of meter, like, it's fine. Like, play freaking Baby or Blue Vegeta or Jiren or something, and you're golden, you know? That's what I think personally. <coughs> on God. Next. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, after the after the buff that he got, Ducky was kicking his feet screaming, bro. I'm telling you. Dude. The fact that his medium is eight frames and he can reverse beat into two L off of it, wow! And it goes far too. It's faster and it goes further. And his two M is nine frames, so he can do fifty. His two L is faster. Right, his two L is faster. His level one punch super and his level three got damage buffs. Like what? Did you on... clip our set when you were playing Jiren? Which? What are you talking about? When you had the pressure with the uh, Kip doing 2 well and I couldn't do anything because you're faster than me? No, but, like, yeah, that's, like, like I know what you're talking about. It's stupid. Yeah, this character's dumb. And I have to sit there and block or reflect, and if I reflect, you can just 2M and still get to me. So I yeah. still have to block even more. <laughs> no, for sure. I think this character is definitely top three. I think there's a case that he's the best character in the game, to be honest. Uh... By the way, in my opinion, S-plus order should be... Jiren Cell Beerus, but that's just my opinion. You can you can. What about this order? I think there's a case for that. It's I don't agree with it, but I I can understand the the perspective. I think Cell is mad dumb. Because um, I'm just putting them where they where like in their category. Yeah, like then after that, we can talk about who's placement. better, like the <clears throat> character yeah. order. That's valid. Um, <clears throat> Kefla, I think is. I'd say C plus. Her damage output is no. Uh, I give her no, B. No, 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 no. She has good mix, but her damage output just dude it, for me, it's not it, bro. I don't know. I think that her damage damage doesn't matter with her because she has everything else. She has mid screen special tag, and she has. Do you know about how she can jail into super dash mix with her uh, charge two three six s and how it can it catches every single tech option in the corner? Yeah. Like, that's dumb, bro. That is ridiculous. I personally think that this character... I think she's S, but... Really? You don't have to agree with me on that. But, I th like, dude, she's being played at the top level. She was second in World Finals this year. Like, I feel like the results speak for themselves. True. Did, have you seen that set? No, I haven't. I haven't been keeping up with any of the finals or nothing, bro. Yeah, she's being... So Wade, Wade's main team right now is Kefla, Cell, what's his anchor? I don't remember what his anchor is, to be honest. But he's playing Kefla Cell right now. I think she's right right there. I think that's exactly where she is. Okay. But she is she she does have to work significantly harder than the other good points in the game right now, though I would agree. I think Kid Boo is not as bad as people say, but I do think that he has to work super hard for very low reward, so I get Yeah. It's pretty rough. But I just I do think he has very good I don't know. I say B to C plus, I could agree with. You'd say Kid Boo's better than Bardock? <sighs> I think they're on the same. That's what I think. Okay. Krillin, this character's whack. Character's whack What? Whack as heck, bro. I put I, me personally. I put Krillin at A. A no. or A plus. Why? Rock assist. Uh, no. The, why? The why mix. not higher? Why not higher? Higher? Yeah. Why not higher? 
I, I I could be fine with putting him higher, but come on the the scale of these other characters, I'd give him at most A plus. Dude, I think he's probably like around Janimba. Really? Let me give you my case, and then you, you can play some okay. based based let's on hear, your let's hear, let's hear. yeah. All right. So first of all, Krillin rocks, as we know, probably best assist in the game, at least top three. Um, I it's doubt literally it. Vegito A, except you can't super dash through it, like brother in Christ. Um, yeah, <clears throat> that's dumb. He also has. I don't understand why you can't super dash through it. Where these human, like these non-human alien <laughs> beings that go through energy balls, but can't go through a simple rock. Are you serious? It's pretty funny. But anyways, so that is, this is dumb. Um, he also has probably like top three level three situations in the game because of freaking le like left, right with, uh, what's it called? His like after image, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah. So, so he gets so. left, right, high, low with that. Because you have to guess which Krillin he is on top of which side is he going to be on, and you can't see anything. So that's Are you dumb. talking about after level three? Yes. Yeah. Dumb. Um, also, he does great on his own. I think he's hard on his own. I could see maybe Garlic Bread just makes him look as goaded as – like maybe Garlic Bread is just goaded. I mean, he is goaded. But I would say worst I'd put him is <clears throat> above Blue Koo. In A plus, that's the worst I'd place him personally, but you can make the final call. I'll give him bottom A tier or S tier, bottom I, S tier. I, 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 yeah, I can I can run with that. Uh, Majin Buu, I think I have no. This clue. character is whack. I I, have no idea. I so I was playing with a few of my friends, right? Uh -huh. And he well, my our homeboy who's like the best out of us three, right? Okay. <clears throat> he was talking. He was like, "What character should I play?" Me jokingly, I said you should play Fat Boo, right? Right. He picks up Fat Boo, he mains him, and I'm telling you, it, it's I, I regret telling him to play Fat Boo. Who is this? Um, it's our home, but his name is Sergio. Okay, I don't. You know uh, that one guy uh, named Man of Sticks? It's it, like his best friend. Okay, cool. Um, there you go. Yeah, I mean, where do you think he is? Like honestly. Not like he's an honestly. Like, where do you think he actually is? Like, I mean, I've gotten TOD three times in one like one match by a person who's playing <laughs> Fat Boo, Videl, and Frieza. So <laughs> that's funny. That's a crazy. And team. they all started with annoying. Fat Boo, so I I'd say right here, just that's from my past experiences. Yeah, I mean, I think he's probably somewhere between A plus and B plus, but I just don't feel like anyone plays him, so it's hard to say. So I'll just trust your take on it because I. I have no opinion. Um, <laughs> Big Roche. Um, I actually am going to go with your with you on here. Where do you think he actually is? No cap. Actually, like yeah, no real. cap, no bias, no nothing. Well, yeah. I mean, I can't not be biased. I'm. This is literally my favorite character in the whole game. For sure, but like, where do you think he is? Biased. I'd put him probably here. That's around what I was going to say. I would say above. Frieza. I'd say either here below or seven. Yeah, I think below eighteen. Here. Yeah, there is exactly where I'd put him. Yeah, that's facts. What What do you think he has going for him, and what do you think he has that going against him? Going against him, the the end lag on all his moves, like his recovery is pretty bad on majority <laughs> of his moves. Like that's why you have to play a certain way when you play him. Mm -hmm. Like that's why everybody's like. <clears throat> Roshi's technical, he's hard to play, this, that, and the third, but like to take like normally with most characters in the game, you could just full on turn your brain off and just play. With him, you actually have to think and kind of set things up without having actual things that set up. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like you know how Nappa you actually have to set things up to actually yeah. play the character, but yeah. with him, you it's all a mental setup. Yeah. Alright. And uh, what do you think he has going for him? Uh, like, why do you think he's as good as he is? What are the things that are good about him? If I'm gonna be real, the the one thing that I noticed, I was like, oh, this is better than that. I have to play this character. Was I was playing a set? It was a rank set against a four Gogeta, right? Uh -huh. He did two three round start two three six H. I did round start two three six H, and I beat him with Roshi. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, that move is good. I also think Lightning Hands is dumb. 
They should make two three six H plus on block. Like plus two. Brother, please no. <laughs> if they slow it down, I'm fine with that. No. Yeah, that's crazy. Um <laughs> But I think his anti air lightning hands is one of the one of the like best tools in the game. Uh that's like really <sighs> unique to a character. I think it's a very good move. It just like you basically just are not allowed to be in the air versus that move. It's crazy. But the thing about that move, you have to be really accurate with it. Like, Yeah, but you can't block it. But that's just like <laughs> 16's uh, angled command grab. I guess. Once you miss, once you whiff, you're cooked. Yeah, that's fair. You just have to be accurate with it. That's fair. All right. Let's scoot over to Nappa. I think Nappa is a plus mostly because he's freaking unblockable, but you have to build your team around him. Otherwise, he sucks. Understandable. Yeah, I would say, I, I, I yeah, agree, about 100%. there. Piccolo, uh, I really don't know much about this character, to be honest. I feel like no one plays him, and the people who play him say he sucks, so I don't really know. The way they did his JH opened up a lot more. Yeah, like solo the mid jump you can DR do, and you can do solo DR. Yeah, it's so good. That's amazing for him. I, I'd probably put him A tier. That's A fair. or B plus. I would say those are fair placements. Also, with where we have our current placements, I personally think 16 is too low. Really? In my opinion, but your call. <clears throat> I think he's an if A tier. I were to move him, I'd probably put him here or here. Yeah, right there is where I was thinking. I think cool. Okay. Cool, I don't know. Cooler's weird, but I think Goku. I think he's worse than Goku Black for sure. Um, let's talk about Baby. Where do you think Baby is? I despise this character. Um, realistically, with all of the things he can do. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say A plus, maybe low S, or or low A plus, high A. That's funny that you say that because my take is that he's higher. I think this character is top five. Really? I'll tell you my opinion, and then you can you can make the final call. But okay, go ahead. He has fifty fifties because they gave him mm -hmm. a forward advancing nine frame two L. Mm -hmm. So he has that like late IAD 50-50 thing going on. It is a super dash mix-up, so, like, you can 2-H it, but if you're not ready for it, like, you're getting jailed into a 50-50, which is extremely good, of course. Um, he has some of the best neutral and solo neutral in the entire game. Um, he builds meter better than any character in the entire game. Dude, I've seen freaking 3.5 meter combos with this character. Like, that is not okay. That is, yeah. like, on some lab coat pre-patch type Like -ish, Spark you know or what I'm no? Saying. No, no Spark. Oh, oh, now it's we got a problem. crazy how much meter this character builds, which I think is, you know, it's fine for characters to have strong things, but that's that's a bit much. That is crazy. Um, and, you know, it's specific routing, but I, I just feel like this character, his weakness is that you have to play very calculated but i feel like that's just a like that's fine like he has an answer for every single situation like he loses to super dash except for the fact that he doesn't because he has freaking jl which is like a sword normal and also too he has freaking spin which is uh anti-air like frame four or something crazy so i think this character personally is top three at best top top like seven at worst really but that's my opinion me personally i'd put him probably here or here that's around the lowest i'd put him so i can i can respect the take i think also he like he has good damage off of certain starters but his damage is not very reliable there's a lot of times where you do like a full combo and it does like 20 percent so like you know, I'm starting to see that as I play him. I, I hate fighting baby in neutral. <laughs> yeah, he has some amazing neutral. Yeah, absolutely. He has some of the best neutral, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, this character's whack, to be honest. <laughs> Dude, TK chop into level three, you just take like 70%. It's like, cool. I love this game. 
Um, he also has guard point command grab for reasons. Uh, volleyball guard point fist. full screen volleyball fist. Right. Yeah. This character is dumb. I think he's same with baby. I think he's top five contender, top 10 worst, like top 10 at worst. I'm saying, I think. Okay. So Trunks? yeah, Trunks, I think is probably in the a, a plus realm. Cause I think that he has a lot of going for him, but he's very hard. Really? That's what I think. Yeah, because, like, a, he has, like, invincible auto combo, which is, like, kind of a meme, but it is what it is. But then, like, at the top level, his he has great loops in the corner, and on top of that, he has level 3 mix. It's just really hard, so you really only see top players do it, like Obi Assassin and stuff, where you do, like, freaking level 3 into EX flip, and you do left rights. Mm-hmm. Um, but, it like, it's very hard to make that ambiguous. Like, I think he's... Are like Roshi territory somewhere around there, maybe a little lower. As a <laughs> casual trunks player, I'd put him here. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, Blue Vegeta, I think, is easily S plus, easily. Really? My reasoning is this: number one, he does some of the highest damage in the game, and you might be like, "Is that really important?" Well. I feel like most characters who that's an argument for, who it's not a good argument, is because they only get that damage off of like stray hits. This character jails you into 50 50s and gets that damage. That is bull crap. The fact that he can do medium kick into a sis call, into overhead low, and you take 60% because of big bang loops. Like, <clears throat> big bang is crazy now. That's not okay. I think this character is a war crime, and we haven't even talked about the fact that he has that freaking stupid EX command grab yet. I was going to say, I'd put him high S, but if you're down with S+, plus, I'm down. I think as high S+, plus is the worst he is. I think he's... I, I do think Baby is better than him, but I think it's close. I think... I think this is fine. This is a fine place for him. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. I do think Tien is probably number five on this list, though. What, back here? Yeah, I think he's there. Because he is dumb, but like I think the uh, characters above him have just more so- more good stuff going for them across the board. Yeah, um, I get you, 100%. SSJ Vegeta, I think I would personally put him right below... <sighs> At highest, right below Krillin. At lowest, right below Majin 21. I was thinking my low balling, not going to lie. I was going to say right in front of him. I think the problem with putting him there is he can jail into 50-50s. It's one True. of one of two characters in the entire <clears throat> game who has that. So I think that like the lowest I would put him is like slightly below Android 18. I think that's the lowest I would personally put him, but that's just me. Mm. Uh, Base Vegeta, I think, is around hit somewhere. He just has everything. He's another like all arounder, kind of like Blue Ku, where he has he has great meter gain, great mix, great neutral, but he's hard. Yeah, I think that that's really just the reality of the character is that he's a hard character. He's, he's like not risk, but like he's high execution, high reward, you know? Yeah. But like yeah. If, if you can execute with him, he also has two very good assists, um, builds meter like crazy. So I think he's right. There is a great placement for him. I'd say he's a well-rounded character for sure. Uh, Vegito. He's probably still a plus to S somewhere in there he just i don't know because like i feel like the things that were really broken about him did indeed get nerfed his assist and his meter gain but he does still have his like left right and he also still has ginormous buttons yeah and good damage most people they sleep on the new update for the uh, or the new patch for the uh the counter the command grab one (coughs) yeah it's it's actually really good. I just seen a video on it today where it was like who who let him cook with this buff. <laughs> yeah, I think he I that's like the highest I'd put him, but I think that's a fine spot. I would probably put him around 
blue Kube's Vegeta area. That's probably where I put in him. In front of hit or bot? Uh, not him. Oh, Vegeta. that's the wrong person. Yeah, I'd probably put him there, around there. Um, Videl, I think she's around. I love this character. I think she's around <clears throat> Trunks to Nappa area. I was say, I'd probably put her... The thing yeah. with her is that she has crazy mix, but all of it is mental stack. Like, none of it is real, real mix, you know? Yeah. I feel like she's she's a character that has a ton of options that aren't real, but because she has so many of them that you have to look out for, you're going to get hit. But if you know because the match... you're overthinking it. Yeah, it's so much to keep track of. But at the same time, she doesn't have any, like, true mix, you know? Like, so I think... You know her spark bait? Yes, with her command grab or whatever. No, with 2-2-H. Oh, uh, yeah, I know about that one, too. Yeah, like, she has a lot of stuff like that, like, cool stuff that's really good going for her, but she has really stubby normals, and I feel like she, none of none of her pressure is real, real. So it's like, and she has a hard time getting in. Like, she has good neutral in a sense that Saiyaman is, like, good to throw out, but, like, that doesn't really get her anywhere. Like, it doesn't get her on top of you, which is where she's the strongest, you know? Yeah. So I think there's fine. Uh, she has good assists too. Like they're nothing crazy, but they're pretty solid. B B and C are both pretty solid, depending on your team. I use her A assist. Yeah, so does Meezy, and he's probably the best uh, freaking Videl. So like, yeah, I think all our assists are at least solid. Yamcha her assist does good pressure. It has a pretty decent hitbox. It hits yeah. a little bit high in the air. Mm -hmm, and. Mm -hmm. Her B assist is good pressure. It's like um, machine gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By, uh, with the Dogahan. And her C assist is a DP. Valid. And it tracks. Yeah. All right, let's talk about uh, Yamcha. I have no idea. I don't know. <coughs> I feel like most of his pressure is fake, so I feel like B+. Plus. Yeah, you can mash through most of it. Yeah, I think B plus or A at the best, but he's not. Alright, Nem, great. don't be biased. My true thoughts on this character is that he is around at worst around Blue Ku base Vegeta, and at best around Team Gohan area. And here's why. I'll give you my take, and then you can tell me that I'm capping if you want. He, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I think he has going for him, and what I think he has going against him. So mm. let's start with against. I think that this character puts you in a lot of really messed up situations, but at the same mm. time, there is so much counterplay to it. Like yeah. Janemba puts you in a level three fifty fifty in the corner. You have to guess. Whereas with Zamasu, you can reflect blades. You can jump out of a lot of like heights of blades. Like his orb stuff is good, but you can super dash it. Not that you should, it's risky, but like there's just so much counterplay. And I think that this character, out of all the characters that put you in these really messed up situations, I think he's probably the one that has the most counterplay from the opponent possible. And I think that's his main weakness. But what he has going for him, and he builds like no meter, but what I think he has going for him is he's really hard to hit because of flight. And if the Zamasu player is willing to play lame, it's really hard to hit this character. Um, also, too, he does have really messed up situations. Like, 236S, or like Flight 6S or whatever, is like plus 18 on block. So, like, he puts you in pressure from, like, everywhere on screen, which is really dumb. His frame data and his normals are all ridiculous. So, like, yeah, I, I think he's good. But I think that he is substantially harder than the characters around him. <clears throat> That's my opinion. As a person who doesn't play this character but fights this character a lot, uh, I've been TLD'd by everything. Like yes. From every every possible round, not round star, but every possible option you don't think you could TOD off of. Yeah, he has he has super dash TODs. Yeah, this character super dash damage. full screen key blast. Yeah, dragon rush. <laughs> yep, all of it, bro. Yep. No, he definitely does mad damage. I'm not gonna cap. Best two H in the game. Two H of the gods. 
No, for sure. I mean, let's not forget about 2H, for sure. That's one of the most degenerate buttons in the game. How can I forget? I get hit by it all the time. <coughs> yeah, I think... Where would you place him? Because I think that where he is now is fair enough. Like, he's definitely not better than adult Gohan, but I see the case for him being in that range. Like, you think yeah. he's better than Janemba? You think so? Yes. All right. I just think Janemba is so much easier, but also, like, that doesn't necessarily make him better. I I can live with this I, I'd placement. I'd rather fight Janemba than fight Zamasu, if I'm being I, real. I can live with this placement. Gogeta 4, I think, is honestly somewhere in that same area. I think he builds very little meter, but he has amazing buttons, amazing options. His lariat is stupid. He, I know level 7 is hard to get to, but the fact that he has an insta-kill level 3 at all is stupid. Um, I also think that the fact that he has a level 3 50-50 on top of the fact that his level 1 puts you in the corner is really dumb. Like, let's let's go in this route. Let's say that you're Gogeta and you get a hit and you have four bars on deck. Mm -hmm. Let's say you just level one, put them in the corner, and then you combo that into Janemba. Now your opponent has to guess on a left-right 50-50 because they got hit, like, freaking mid-screen. Like, that is very good, you know? So You can I think, honestly do that corner to corner, too. Right, like, I think he's around... Zamasu ish area. I'd give him low S plus high S. Low S plus high S. I think he's around at best I'd put him around Ginyu. <coughs> okay. I th I don't think he's better than uh, Baby, but I think he's close. Yeah, I, I I can live with this placement. Uh lastly lab coat, yeah, she's definitely somewhere in there, yeah. I think she's yeah, I think, yeah. Also, too, I think now, looking at this, I don't think there's a tier gap between those characters in the bottom. I think Bardock mm -hmm. and Kid Buu should be moved up a tier, and I think that S. Broly should be in his own tier at the bottom, but he should be right, be right below uh, those guys, like in C+, I think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think get rid of those tiers, and I think that we have ourselves a pretty solid tier list here. How do you all right? How do you feel about this? Uh, I think some of the orders of the characters could be switched around, but overall, general uh, placement is solid. Fine, yeah, pick three characters to change your placement on. We'll we'll each pick gotcha. three. Let's do that and give your reasoning. <laughs> be, real though, be real though. Be real though. Be real though. Oh. For the for the content, um, top one character. For real though. Pick three characters, for real, though. Realistically, I'd move Frieza to S. Reasoning. Uh, he, he has a lot. Like, from the videos that... Remember the videos I showed you earlier? Like, the stuff that he can do? Yeah. Along with, like, if he gets a knockdown, he still does have decent setups, right? Mm -hmm. Either he can do disc, which puts you in a position where either you have to mash quickly to stop the disc, but if I block or reflect, you still have to worry about the disc, or if I get a knockdown, I can still 2 2 S and come behind you. Right. Along with an assist call. My thing with Frieza is just that I feel like most of his stuff is knowledge checks. Like, if you're ready for that stuff and your defense is good, I just feel like you're not going to get hit by it. But his neutral is incredible. I'm not going to, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Where, where, where do you – are you going to put him there? Is that what you think? I honestly, I'd move him up from like in this whole category. He'd be in the same category, but I still move him up. All right, put him where you think he is. <clears throat> I can live with that. I think that's fair. Okay. <clears throat> All right, you got any more? Or up to I would say up to three. Up to three. You don't have to have three, but if you had up to three that you think are in the wrong spot, where you I'd you move four Gogeta to S plus. Gogeta four, yeah. Do you keep baby below him in his in a tier below, or do you move them both? In my opinion, like realistically, all realistically, if it's a one on one, like in, your, like in your opinion, anchor, like anchor to anchor, baby As, versus how, Gogeta. However, you think he's played best, any of them, 
any no, character. No, I'm saying, like, if they're both on the same playing field, anchor right. to anchor, yeah. Limit Break Spark, both of them have it, right? Sure. I, I'd, I'd say Gogeta <laughs> wins up. I don't know if I agree with if you. I'm, if, if, I'm, if we're both mid-screen and you try to go for Key Blast to back me up, as soon as I th see you throw your hand up, I'm EX Larry in you. I mean, I guess, but I feel like you just wait for it and <coughs> 2 H it. If you, like, there's counterplay, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like you just play it patient as the baby player, and mm, it's hard to say. That's an interesting matchup, to be honest. Yeah. I also think baby is a better point than, he, than like, like I feel like it's interesting to say the 1v1 argument, but realistically speaking, I don't think you're in that position very often because I feel like baby's a point character. Yeah. He's good on anchor, but I think, like, his best spot is point, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are you going to move him or no? Uh, I don't know. I, I'll probably keep him there. Hmm. You got any more, or are you pretty satisfied? I think I think I'm set. Okay, I'll say mine. I think I think Goku Black is low. I could see yeah. him being around. Honestly, I could see him being below eighteen above Frieza. <clears throat> below eighteen above, really? Yeah, because I'd probably I put him here or here. Damn. I think... I don't know. Uh, put him right below Majin. That's where I think he is. And then my last change... Or I guess I that was my first change of three that I have available to me. I think Baby is above Tien. Above Tien? I think. But it... We, okay. I, I th mm, yeah. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think so. And then my last, mostly because of the the bar build and he, his tag synergy and his 50-50s. I feel like Tien is dumb, don't get me wrong, but those are really good tools to have, especially at the top level. Like, that's going to carry you a lot further than just raw damage. But I do think Tien's damage is like, dude, Tien's damage sometimes feels like it's higher than S Broly's on a character that's way better than S Broly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then lastly, I'd probably put 16 above Trunks. Okay, I can live with that. That's probably, yeah, I'd say this is a, this is a Final game. tier list, I'm saying, uh, yeah. True, 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 true. All right, boys, me and Zay are going to keep hanging, but that's our tier list. I'm posting, I'm... I'm posting this on the YouTube, so uh, if you are new and you don't know, I stream on Twitch pretty irregularly right now, but um, I'm getting a new job soon, and as soon as I know what my new job schedule is, I'm going to make a more consistent stream schedule again, so. <coughs> All right, boys. I'm going to stop recording. Come by the stream. Also, uh, if you leave a comment and you want to join the Discord, I'll post a link there. The link freaking changes all the time, even though I tell it not to. So I don't want to post the link in the description and have it not work. So if you want the link, just ask in the comments and I'll throw it in there. But we have a Discord community as well for like looking for games and stuff like that. So peace out.